Hi everyone, I'm Megan Moore, Board Certified Health Coach. And I'm Mike Schiener, Master Herbalist. And we're here at Z Natural Foods today to talk about our spectacular. Mike, you seem a little hyper because you've been having the maca. I have. We're here to talk about our fabulous Peruvian maca. Um, as far as our maca is concerned, we sell five different types of maca, whether it's blends or individuals. But before we go into that and even do a taste test with each one, we're going to talk a little bit about the background of maca, how it grows, things of that nature. So you guys get a little history. Then we'll get into the fun stuff like the testing of you know, tasting it. So go ahead, Megan, why don't you? Okay, so um, just like most superfoods, uh, maca is indigenous to a particular region, uh, which makes it have so many nutritional and nourishing abilities. Um, so maca is actually indigenous to Peru, and maca is one of the only roots and foods on the planet that can grow at such high altitudes. It can grow up to as high as 14,000 feet uh, in altitude, so that's pretty amazing. Yeah. Um, and also it may help with lung function, because a lot of the people who are living in these higher altitudes do need that extra oxygen in their body to um, help with all of that. Yeah, um, so I think that's one of the real keys with maca is how it grows. Um, because there are other countries that have attempted to grow maca, and really it failed miserably. Uh, there, there are many reports about places like China, for example, that have attempted to grow maca uh, at much lower altitude, and the maca itself came out almost ten times the size with one-tenth of nutritional value. Mm -hmm. And speaking of nutritional value, uh, we, what we, what, what's been done is, if you look at the different colors mm -hmm. of maca, which there are three most traditional colors, yeah. Yeah. black, red, and yellow. There are many other colors of maca in general, and when it does grow, it grows in batches with all different colors. And individual roots mm -hmm. can have multiple colors on them as well. The color really doesn't signify uh, anything in particular about its nutritional value because when you line up nutritional profiles of each one of these roots, they're almost identical in nutritional profile. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's exactly right. So um, I'll also talk about some of the health properties. Um, maca has been traditionally used to promote uh, healthy stamina, healthy energy. Um, it may be used to support healthy lung function, healthy blood circulation. So there's a lot of really great things to it. Um, do you have anything to add to that, Mike? No, I mean, you know, um, something, you know, maca is something that's also been traditionally used for a long time by athletes. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, exactly. it's something that really builds the constitution of the body and supports a healthy constitution, supports a healthy immune system, things of that nature. Yeah. So let's go and we'll try each one and we'll tell you which ones we have. Yep. This so, is gelatinized. Right. So basically, gelatinized is the cooked form of maca. It's boiled down, the fiber has been removed, and now you have what would be considered a pure extract. Yep. This is the most traditional way of using maca in Peru. Yeah, they say that um, it actually helps to keep the therapeutic values within the maca. So it's this good. is one of my favorites, really yeah. I feel like it has a really rich, sweet flavor. Um, nutty. It does, yeah, nutty. I also think that it's got like a little bit of a thicker consistency when you put yeah. it into your mouth. Mm -hmm. So if you're using it to maybe thicken up a recipe or something like that, this would be a good one. And this in Peru is used, to, it's cooked in pies and cakes and yeah. things like that, which is very traditional in Peru. You go to your average market, you'll see all that stuff. Yep, let's move on to our next one. This one is our premium maca. Now what makes this a little bit unique from all the others is this is the true raw maca. Mm -hmm. What we have, pulled from the ground, Wash and thrown through the mill to make a powder. Yep. True, 100% raw. And you can see when I sort of um, mix it up, with all of the beautiful little. This is much lighter well. and airier, mm -hmm. and this has a more earthy taste, almost like a little bit like horseradish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, and the one thing that I really like about this one is at the very end, you almost taste like a little bit of a zing, which is really really nice mm -hmm. in that. Yeah, I do think that it has that sort of same aftertaste with the horseradish. Um, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, the next one is our raw organic maca. And just so you're all aware, all of these macas are 100% or, uh, certified organic, GMO free, and vegan. And gluten free as and well. And gluten free as well. So. This one's sweet too. Um, a little bit like this one, uh, but the way this one is prepared, <coughs> the way this one happens to be prepared, 
is that this one is pulled from the ground, it is dried, and then it is milled. Mm -hmm. um, and to me, it almost has a caramel-like flavor to it. Yes, yes. <laughs> The next one that we have is our red maca. Mm -hmm. This is just the individual red root, raw, pulled from the ground, dried. Milk. I think this one's a little bit um, bitter. Yeah. Yeah. This one's a little more bitter. Um, that you might find that with the with the one specific root that you're going to get a more bitter flavor mm -hmm. from it versus the combination. Yeah. And then the final one we're going to try today for you guys is the black maca. And as you'll see, this does have a slightly darker color to it as well. Again, not because the skin made any difference, but, you know, that's just the way this happened to have turned out in this batch. This one, too, has a little bit of bitterness, a little bit of, uh, of a little bit of kick. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I think the, really um, <clears throat> the mouthfeel is like a little bit grainy, a yeah. bit more textured than some of the other ones. Yes, absolutely. Like the premium. Well, guys, we're really happy to have brought you all of our different makas. We sell the highest quality maca on the U.S. market today. Yep. We get straight from Peru, where it's meant to be gotten from. And that's really pretty much it. So this is Mike Stuchina, Master Herbalist. And I'm Megan Moore, board-certified health coach. And we'll see you next time. Bye.